Dragon 4. 5. Coming! Coming! Woo! Okay. We be moving. We be moving. Oh, billets. You want the billets? Ah, yes. The joys of independent budget travel in a rural area. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we're about to take a 20-hour train ride through the Siberian wilderness. And uh, yes, these are the same clothes as I wore in the previous story in uh, Terry Burka, but uh, long night and uh, short turnaround. Yes. Oh, we get a yes. I asked for a dollar, we get a yes. I have uh, no idea what a Russian train is like, uh, so I've got uh, I've got my provisions. Uh, let's see what we've got uh, in the bag. Hey, doggy. Oh. Say hello. Shy dog. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, now you say. Now he talks. Bread. I've got two and already. Bananas, we'll, uh, we'll need some sort of uh, potassium. And uh, oh, you know what? M most importantly, because it's my first time on a Russian train, uh, toilet paper. Okay. Passport, passport. Oh, passports. Passports? Passports? Billet? We ready to rock and roll? Oh, last final smoke. Now, oh, conveniently, there's a map just before we hop on board. Murmansk is somewhere up here by the Barents Sea. Say figure 75 kilometers an hour times 20, 1500 kilometers. Takes us to some lake and uh, Petrosavodsk is our final destination. I, I guess it means hurry in Russian. Zachadite. Okay. We Zachadite. Upa! This, this is home. Second class was uh, not made for large backpacks. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a first class service. I'm getting first class service on a second class train. I'm the only one on this wagon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Давай. Right now? Да. Uh, billet. I, I know what billet means. Hold on. Sure, I put my I put my billet away. Billet. Я беру и ещё раз паспорт. Проверим ещё раз. Паспорт. Passport again? I just keep passport. Again, again, again. 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 I, again. I just I just Проверь. did it to get on the train. Открывай. Thorough check. Вот поезд, число, купе, Мурманск, Петрозаводск, место 20. Вот номер ещё. Мурманск to Petrozavodsk. Petrozavodsk. I could translate that. Okay, so my passport was checked out for a second time. That was returned to me, but the other uh, conductor, she keeps the ticket. I guess that's uh, some sort of way of identification uh, in case I cause any trouble. Now that I've had a chance to breathe, this uh this becomes the uh departure from uh, Murmansk in Russia's Arctic. Well, first stop was outside of Murmansk. Next stop, two and a half hours from now. Even on a second class wagon, there are different economic and social stratum. Just climbing those three steps has saved me about 2,000 rubles or uh, 30 euro. So yes, definitely well worth sleeping in the uh, upper bunk of a second class wagon. Uh, as I mentioned in the uh, intro, it was a uh, long night and a short turnaround from uh, Toriburka. And so uh, there's no hurry on this ride. I'm going to catch up with you in a while after I get some shut eye. Fresh air. Air. Oh. And Alexa. It could be anywhere. Take a look. 25 minutes. That's that that that's what the schedule says. I read 25 minutes. Oh boy. 
Has the, uh, has the chewing gum ever lost its flavor on this bedpost? We're five hours into this train ride with another 14 to go uh, to uh, Petrozavodsk. And uh, yeah, oh boy, not, uh, not the romantic train ride I had envisioned. To the train's credit, this ride has been very smooth. Uh, the bed, it's easy in which to sleep. My, uh, my compartment uh, mates, a mother and a son, they've been quiet and uh, yeah, the, uh, the tracks are level. So that's all good. But after a while, the, the four walls, uh, I was starting to go stir crazy and there's not much uh, to look uh, outside the window. It's just trees, trees and more trees. The, uh, the gray, heavy overcast skies like Russian Zuftig, uh, that's uh, uninspiring, especially when yesterday in the, uh, the village of uh, Terebrka. That was a brilliant day. So uh, 14 hours to go to uh, Petrozavodsk and uh, yeah, admittedly can't get there fast enough. Things to do when you're bored on a train. Let's, uh, let's go check out the, uh, the souvenir cart. Just in case anybody was wondering, no, not, not complimentary snacks. Yes, this contraption, uh, it's the uh, hot water heater for coffee and tea. Uh, beverages, not complimentary. Okay, we're, we're looking at this randomly. We have a uh, model train. Another model train. Coloring book with planes. <laughs> that actually uh, seems appealing right about now. And for when I really get bored, I can look at the, this uh, schematic plan in Russian of uh, something. Not the most inspiring view from which to get out of bed, though this is Petrozavodsk. Petrozavodsk in all of its train station glory. Once I put my head down last night, that was it. And uh, somehow I think I didn't miss much of a view for the remaining uh, 12 hours to get to this spot. I think if this story had painted this ride as anything more than what it was, though it lacked action, it lacked excitement, it lacked drama, it would have been disingenuous because, well, this is a functioning train ride and that's not much more that it had to be. If there is something that I learned, and that is, if this, uh, if this journey was uh, 20 hours and uh, 1500 kilometers, I think the concept of taking the Trans-Siberian Railroad from Vladivostok to Moscow and it's 10 days, well, I think I may have to uh, put that on the not-to-do bucket list. Thank you very much for tuning into this edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. From Petrozavodsk, somewhere in central Russia, thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Good luck, mate. Did you like this episode? Good. Help Borders on Budgets. Hit the subscribe button below and uh, don't forget to share this story with your friends who are contemplating long distance train rides.